for the victim. The other way is to simply extort them by saying, I have this information, I'm going to leak it, uh, and literally use that as a, as a kind of a, a hostage to get the, to get the money that they want. So ransomware, by definition, is sort of taken on, everyone believes it to be just the encryption of the environment, which is the more well-known version, but there's an extortive quality here too, which is, which is dangerous where they'll just steal the information and hold it over the organization's head uh, to pay. Otherwise they'll release it. Wow. So as a small business owner, you got me thinking, how do I protect myself? What are some steps that I can do to make sure that yeah. I'm not a victim? A great question. Uh, there's really, it's very hard for me to say there's any wonderful software or box you can buy that will do the job. Unfortunately, Ryan, uh, you know, believe me, if someone had designed something like that by now, everyone would have bought it and we wouldn't have this issue. Uh, it really is a, a, a discipline and a, an awareness training effort, uh, which is to say, you know, do your absolute best to not open emails that or, or click on attachments that you don't know uh, are actually valid or authentic. Um, this is very hard for bigger companies to deal with. Smaller companies can manage that to some degree because you kind of know who you're working with. Mm -hmm. um, bigger companies, and this is very this became very clear during the pandemic. Um, 